What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of My RC Life, where we do all things RC and a little bit of everything in between. Let's go! Got the old uh, yard crest lawn miser. Got it from my old history teacher slash good friend, Bob Light. We're starting by taking a cleanup cut of the piece of brass I have. Then I'm going to get a measurement. I think this was one inch and it's typically oversized so after the cut it was an inch and five thousandths. So I'm just going to start to make cuts and measure. The number I needed to get to was 875 or seven eighths of an inch. You can see on the dial, I'm going to move it another 40 thousandths, make a cut. Now this is quite a large cut, actually not really, but larger than the ones that I was taking originally. I'm not using the power feed because I haven't been on a lathe in years, so I'm just using the uh, manual handles to do the machining. Let's get another measurement here. I couldn't uh, exactly read that one, I don't remember what the measurement was. But. I'm starting to look nice hey, now. What are you doing? Bushy. Uh, never mind, you said I couldn't run. I didn't say that. Yeah, it's a little bushy for my little lawnmower. Ah, neat. A little, uh, have you ever seen me carry that sprinkler lawnmower thing? Uh, what? <laughs> or walking sprinkler, I mean. So confused. It can't you know, follow where you lay the hose. What? Yeah. You lay the hose. Oh, the hose now it makes sense. Tire. Now we're going to face it off. So that's flat. Okay, so I have left and came back. And I'm going to uh, start cutting, and I notice the, uh, the tool is not on center. So we need to center that tool really quick. I'm going to loosen up the tool post. You see it drops. And I'm going to just uh, spin this little set screw here. We get her up perfectly in the center and lock it in place. There, now we can get back to machining. Start off with a light cut again, just to see where we're at. About 880, we're pretty close to our number. Remember, about 875. That's the hole that needs to fit into, so maybe just a little bit smaller than 875 would work great. We got 875 on the dot there. And you can see it's it's starting to go in, but it's pretty tight. So we're gonna put it in there one more time. And take this light cut, real light cut. You can barely even see the cut. There you can see it a bit better. It's more of a polished, refined, final pass. Okay, let's see if it works now. Like butter. Now I'm going to get set up to drill the hole in the center for the sprinkler head to go through. You want to make sure that your tool post isn't going to hit your chuck. Get it up close, spin it, make sure nothing comes in contact. We're all good. Okay, that post is 675, so that's the hole we need. 
We're going to start with a 500 size drill. We're going to center drill it first to make sure it's perfectly dead center in that piece of copper, or I mean piece of brass that I'm machining. Now when I drill, you don't just run the drill in, you drill in a little bit and then you back off a, a smidgen to break the chip. You can see I go in and then it stops and a little further. It's the proper way to run a drill, I suppose. You can see why this is called a center drill. It's going to perfectly center the drill bit that's about to come in contact with it here in a minute. All right, we got that center drill buried in there. We're going to chuck up that 500 drill, that half inch drill. Now we need a 675 hole, so we're just getting close to that size. If I had a 600 drill, I would have drilled it with a 600, but the biggest one I had was a half inch. All right, I'm picking my speed of which I want to run the drill. That's too fast. Like I said, I've never run this lathe before in my life, so it took me a little bit of figuring, but like most things, I can figure it out. Now we're gonna start drilling. You see I spin it in, and then I back up just a bit. That breaks the chip. A little bit of cutting oil. Now this is brass, it's really soft, but if it was steel, it could possibly make a big, long uh, chip if I didn't back off and break the chip. All right, we're gonna pull that drill bit out. And now we're gonna go to what is called a boring bar. And it's very exciting, I promise you. <laughs> you gotta make sure your boring bar can fit in the hole. Pull back the tail stock. Take off the carbide inserted cutter and get the boring bar onto the tool post. Now we have to turn the tool post to straighten it out. It can't be at an angle. I'm going to get it up close to the part and adjust the center just like I had to before. I got to adjust that center again. Now the my right hand runs the in and out and my left hand the one to watch on it runs the side to side so I'm running that boring bar down the center of that piece of brass where I had drilled the hole making the hole bigger I still wasn't quite on center so I'm recentering it lock that in place all right Let's get down to business. Now these cuts got to be smaller because it's such a long bar, it can flex. So you can't take a 40 thousandths cut. Let's get a quick measurement to see where we're at. 525. We need to be 625. We have a hundred thousandths of an inch to go. You can see the cut right there, and after that you can't really see it. <laughs> so we'll speed it up, get it over with. Alright, where are we at now? Pull out my digital calipers. Well, they're not mine, I borrowed them. <laughs> uh, I guess I didn't show you guys how much it was what the size was. Ooh, there's a good size cut. If it was steel, I would not be able to do that. It would flex the cutter. But this is soft material. Let's see. Does the shaft go through? It's starting, but not quite. Run another fine pass. Uh, no, probably another thousandth of an inch. 0 .001 of an inch. 
That's what I'm taking right now. All right, let's check it. A little burr on the edge. I'll take care of that with a countersink in a bit. Oh, it's almost there. There it goes. All right. Now I need to make the length of the bushing. So I just made a crude scribed line on there. And now we're going to shave it down until it's that size. Yes. Getting some stuff for the YouTube. This guy's here doing some real work. Oh, my real work. That's my cousin Brady. No, I'm not looking at my dials or anything. I'm just doing this by eye, taking a 20 to 40 to 50 thou cut each time until it's down to the size I need. Recording it? Yeah. I interrupted your recording? No, you're, you're going to be on the recording. Here's a guy that's going to do some real work today, not my little piddly tractor work. Oh. Well, you think I don't know that trick? And then you got to file the outer side too, Justin. Oh, he's making it look pretty. Real machine. Look at the concentration in his eyes, people. I mean, perfectionist. Are you know there's no burr on that? <sighs> oh, dude, look at how much. Oh, man. Look, there's my son, Casey. He uh, also works up here. That's why I'm up here so often. He's uh, only 16. He don't quite have his license yet. Here's the cutoff tool. Let's straighten this tool post out completely. There we go. Bring it in close. Turn your truck, make sure nothing's coming in contact. I'm not a pussy, Justin. I think I did that one handed, just so you know. That's fine. I'm not going to make it absolutely perfect. Well, I need it perfect. Well, I'm not making you nothing. I'm just showing you something. Okay, show me something. So, you're over here using this dial. I could be using my digitals. Clear, clear. <laughs> yes, Justin, I suppose I could have stepped up and there used you the you're taking, you're taking a thousand off now. Boom. He's telling the old Boom. school guy not to use Boom. the dial. He's saying... This is a lot more accurate. Use this. It's a lot more accurate for your, for your sprinklers. Yes, Blaze back in my day didn't have digitals. Yeah. No? Well, we're not old no more, Mike. How dare you? Well, I mean, they still put the numbers on there for us old guys, I think. See, look at them. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is after party, if, by the way. If you can get your freaking magnifying glass out, you can read these just fine. <laughs> at 110, maybe? I don't know. Let's see. Eh, that'll probably be all right. That'll be all right. Just careful with your watch on, because if that snaps at it, it'll keep you with it. I uh, had a lady grab my flannel shirt one day, button up flannel. Uh -huh. All right, right here, me and Justin exchange horror stories about lathe accidents. But yeah, what I'm doing is I'm running this uh, cutting tool in there. He's got the edge of the file in there to catch the part. Perfect. Bam. Yeah, that made you a ring, too. 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 Oh, hell no. Ring. I didn't realize I had an assistant, but I'm liking it. I don't have nothing better to do. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right, this is a file card. It's made to clean out the channels in the file. You put it at the same angle that you see the lines going on the file. You just simply slice it, you know, swipe it back and forth. 
all clean. It's going to file better, and you're going to tell it can file better. All right, I'm just rounding the edges on the uh, piece. Perfect. That's the countersink. We're going to move it up. The kale stock, the beautiful little countersink. Flip it over, file the other side. Countersink that side as well. Like butter. Now it comes time to assemble the tractor. I gotta take apart the turbine, the water turbine, four screws on the bottom. This thing was made in the early 1900s. It's pretty simple. Little screw here. Um, it's to retain plastic gear because I had the worm gear was looking bad so I had another one printed. Here is the original made out of nylon. You can see the teeth are like rounding over, laying over. Here's a new one that I had them print me but it kind of copied the old design. It needs to be thicker and not laid over. I put it in and uh, gave it a shot anyways. Just reassembling the tractor. Man, that nice brass bushing looks so shiny <laughs> compared to the rest of the tractor. Little screw in the side that uh, holds everything from not falling. Then I just have to reattach the sprinkler head. Reinstall the turbine. I'm hoping this and this golden straight. oldie is ready to go water the lawn again. Look at that beautiful piece of brass I made. Dude, it's got adjustments. Can we speed this up? I was wondering that before. I didn't know. Yeah. I think that speeds it up if you, because obviously that shortens your. Yeah, dude. We can shift gears. Excuse me, ma'am, sir. Well, that's what you get. <laughs> now what? You guys are all tangled up. Here I am driving. E excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah. Get over there. Ma'am, nope. There's no seating here. Yes! Uh, I'm parked in the parking lot. Oh, okay. Okay, I had, right. to, I had to jump out of the truck because... Guns out, guns out. No, I come from the 80s. Sun's out. Your gruns are out. It's clothesline season, everybody. She don't know. Now put them in the bucket. Holy cow, that's a lot of feathers. Oh, my. Really? What is that? What kind of bone is that? What? Hey! Is it a dinosaur bone?